okay guys so welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video it's like 24 hours even less than 24 hours to go for the ios 26 and here are some important things i want to talk about now in this video there are two different sections um in the first section i'm going to talk about something important regarding ios 26 in the second section i will be taking your comments from the youtube studio and answering your comments so if i talk about the first session I want to talk about few important things to you need to understand before updating to the iOS 26. So if you haven't updated to the iOS 26, watch this video until the end. Now let's begin. Now, well, iOS 26 is a great update. No doubt there's a liquid glass element and an amazing look. Everything is so insane. I'm really excited about it. But here is an important thing for you guys to understand. Let's talk about what is that. Now, just take an example. When iOS 17 came out, it was a really good update. And after an year, we saw iOS 18. So the people who, you know, come from iOS 17 to the iOS 18, they started to complain about the battery life and the battery draining and the overheating. And that is the important thing for you guys to understand. Um, If I compare iOS 17 with the iOS 18, iOS 18 was a big update against the iOS 17 and just like that iOS 26 is even bigger update and whenever there are new features they take more process in the background they are like more active in the background more stuff in the background is going on and because the process uh, pro different processes increases in the background there will be definitely a bit of overheating or a bit of over draining or maybe not that great battery life so if you compare ios 17 battery life with the ios 18 battery life definitely ios 17 battery life will be better because there are more features in the ios 18 and to run those more features apple iphone definitely need to consume more battery life and just like that now ios 26 is going to come out like in just 24 hours from now I'm now, from the time I'm showing this video, there are more features. There are more features than iOS 18. So you cannot expect as good battery life as iOS 18. There definitely you need to compromise some here and there regarding the battery life. There will be a less battery life and maybe slightly more battery than, than the iOS 18. Now this happens every year because it's obvious. It is very obvious when there is a new product or when there is a new uh, operating system. Definitely new operating system is built on updated stuff and updated stuff always need a better system to run it. They need more background processes and all that. So it is quite obvious. You cannot expect a uh, same battery life as the iOS 18. So that is something to keep in mind before updating to the iOS 26 that you might have to slightly compromise some here maybe the performance maybe the battery life but overall i have tested out all the versions of ios 26 um after four betas of ios 26 now ios 26 seems in a very good shape ios 26 rs is in really good shape but at the same time some people are actually having the issues but this is what i really want to talk about so before updating to ios 26 keep this thing in your mind now let's get into the youtube studio and see what you guys are asking ab me about so just let me put my device over here here is the first comment let's you know is there a difference with 18.7 in terms of battery consumption 18.7 um it definitely will be giving you a better battery life if you compare it with the ios 26 because ios 26 is full of new features so this is what i just talked about that you cannot expect same battery life there will be definitely a slight difference okay the next is when we will um uh iphone 11 i was going to say R rc2 is not coming i guess it's already like sunday and while i'm shooting this video i don't think there's an rc update let me check um i don't think there's an rc update coming anytime soon um because tomorrow we are expecting um i was 26 official update yes no rc update at all so yeah and no rc2 is coming Hello, do you think there would be a new build number for RC because I have some bugs? How long I have to wait? Okay, I'm not sure where if there will be a new bug, there will be a new update for the RC users. 
I think there should be a new update because my device also respawns for no reason on the RC. So there are a couple of bugs over here which I'm not happy with. So I also want to get um you know I also I also I also want to see a new update, but I'm not sure about that yet. We will I will let you know guys when the update will out. Uh, sound based still low like 18 by 6 by 1. I I'm not sure what you are talking about. There is not a single bug regarding audio, I guess. So just, you know, try to explain what you are trying to say. They are making iPhone and iPad more beautiful. Yeah, you can say that some people like it, some people don't. There's a mixed feeling going on. Pro, the official release will come out in two days. When will RC2 come out? Um, Okay, again, the same thing. I was expecting. I want to see the RC2 because of a couple of bugs of respring. But so far um we are just 24 hours away from the official release so no rc2 is coming the layout of this looks so similar to the apple reminders app um okay i don't know which app you are talking about but definitely if there is any app that talk about maybe it has okay thank you for commenting down which is the better than 18.6.1 um so far i feel 18.7 rc seems a better update i tested out on the iphone 10s so it feels better than 18.6.1 but you know it's still an rc update i will not suggest you install the rc update wait for the public release if we don't have rc2 even if we update to this rc we'll be able to update so this is the question most people are talking about that we will get the official update or not well i can't say anything if we get a new build number definitely you're gonna get a new update if the build number is saying we can't expect any sort of update so I will let you know guys on threads. So make sure to follow me on threads. I'm very, very excited for the iPad OS 46. Great. Okay. Over here. On my iPhone 11 Pro, it runs really well. I did a Geekman test and it has been the best so far. Even better than the iOS 18. Yes, that is what I'm, you know, I mentioned in some of my videos. That's in some, I um, mean, you know, a couple of, but like, I mean, like in many devices, iOS 46 is so smooth, so better, so amazing. Even on my iPhone 11, sometimes it works really, really cool. So for some people, it is having an issue, but I think for most of the people, it is really running really good. My battery health drops from 95 to 93%. Now, first of all, my like, what is the context of this message? How much time it took to drop that like which iphone you're using how many jar cycles you didn't mention anything so please mention anything so again answer further i went for a walk one day and came back and my phone was playing a song by itself very every now and then if the phone rings the same song starts and various other times okay maybe you have done something with the automation go and check out if in shortcuts app if there is any automation turned on go and check that and turn it off because it i haven't heard of any sort of bug like this because it seems something is automated on your device using shortcut app so go and check out that my favorite ios 26 ringtone is alt one okay great i do have like a couple of um ringtone favorite two over there i have sort of set up a two different ringtones on my both of the devices and both of them are not the main ringtone they are different this version comes you more battery than the previous version on my iphone 13. okay that's an rc update can't say anything about that just wait for the public release that lag is happening on my 11 as well it's on 18.6.2 okay so this is the lag i was talking about of app library that when you drop down your app library you see a lag if i'm able to show you that like for example this is my iphone 11 over here and you know when i do this you see a lag and the guy is saying this is also happening on the ios 18 and it's also happening on the ios 26 so i think that's okay battery feels not good okay just wait for the public release so too my battery is draining fast just wait for the public battery has been admissible many people are talking about the battery draining I would use just suggest you guys to just you know um wait for the um stable version stable release sunday night sunday night i was 26 stable version not gonna lie i was 18 has better icon compared to as 26 i don't know i like icons of ios 26 better 
some things I do like of I was 18, but when it comes to icons, I appreciate the icons of I was 26. But you know, if you like it, great, it's your personal choice, uh, no judgment at all. Is it smoother, stable than 18.6 Pro in your opinion? Yes, it is. 18.7 RC seems really, really stable. I do not have any problem in 16 Pro. The RC2 version will not be because in a few days there is an option. Definitely, yeah. What I'm not talking about nonsense. I'm just saying that we want RC2 because of a couple of bugs going in the RC update. Bad RC update, to be honest, they should have tested more effectively. Um, I don't say it's completely bad. You know, I must mentioned so many times that I definitely saw a couple of bugs, um, especially the respring. Um, they should have fixed this, but it's not that that bad. So maybe we're gonna see a new build number of with the official release. How much screen on time on iPhone 14 Plus? I'm not using iPhone 14 Plus for now, but definitely it will be giving a good screen on time because it is giving a good screen on time even on the iPhone 11. I updated the iOS or is the RC2 from it was equal to on my iPhone 15 battery drain issue and performance not great. Just wait for the public release, it will hopefully get better. And um as I when I started this video, I as I said that don't compare your iOS 18 battery stats with the iOS 26. iOS 26 is a really big update, really new features, a lot of stuff new going on, and definitely when there is new stuff, it take more background stuff, background processes, and that definitely consumes a lot of battery life. R26 RC battery drain, please also report in feedback app. Okay. As a matter of five hours uh, the other day, my phone shrunk from 100% to 30 ish. Awful. Okay. You know, definitely once the iOS 26 will come out, I will definitely make a video about it. Put SIM in it, it will give 5 hours on 100%. So I use my SIM on my, you know, iPhone 11. And as you were saying that if the SIM is in, in the device, it will give me, um, you know, um, 100%, it will give me 5 hours. So this is my iPhone 11 stat. I use 95% as you can see, it is a 2, uh, you know, a couple of uh, yesterday shortcut and uh, uh, sorry screenshot 95% uses almost 7 hours of screen on time and the network is also on with the LTE so yeah it's great for me for some people definitely it is not that great well these are some of your comments that I wanted to include in this video again watch this video before installing the iOS 96 and I hope you like this video in if I conclude this video and this video I talk about that few stuff that you need to take care before installing the update. I as is a big update with a amazing features. Definitely Apple is trying to optimize it. So there will be a good battery life, good every, everything. But don't compare this with, you know, iOS 18. Maybe you see a slight less battery life or something like that. Maybe a even better battery life. So that is the total your experience. You can try installing iOS 26. If you don't like it, you can always downgrade to the iOS 18. So yeah, that's all from this video. I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.